Hey, how's it going today? In this video, what we're going to do is show you how to set up your Outlook signature on your mobile device. Now, I've had some people ask me, hey, I've got my signature all set up on my office computer. It looks great, but I want to get it on my phone, and every time I try, it looks just messy, and it doesn't turn out the same. Well, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all, there are two different form factors. Your computer Outlook and your mobile Outlook are a little bit different, so they're not going to look exactly the same, but you can get it close. So let me show you how, first of all, step one would be to, to take a copy of your uh, email signature from your office computer and then get it over into your mobile device. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so first of all, I've taken a cop. Here, here's my outlook here. You can see there's my signature. I'm gonna take my signature. Now, there's a few things that it doesn't like when you try to bring it in a mobile phone. These little um, icons here, on the side, it doesn't like those. It will make them huge and, and then they're, they're very difficult to size. So I like to take those out first of all. So I'm just gonna click on each one of those and take those out. But they are indented a little bit, so that looks fine. Now you'll notice I've got a logo. I'm gonna change the logo just because I've, I've got a different logo uploaded already. But there's my, my signature logo down at the bottom with the company and everything. Now this is a PNG file. Now PNG files, and there's a couple of others that allow you to have what they call a transparent background or an alpha background, meaning you can put that over any color and it'll be translucent, it'll just show what the graphic is. And then if you get into a JPEG or a GIF file or other ones like that, these bitmap ones, it will actually show you uh, a white background typically. So that's one of the things you'll have to kind of overcome when you're working with this. So first of all, we're gonna take that take that out or in fact we can actually just leave that and what we're going to do is we're just going to take this information here and we're going to right mouse click actually we're not going to right mouse click we're going to go control c to copy it and we're going to go over to our word document go control v and paste that in there. We'll take that, uh, we'll leave that return character there. And then you're gonna save this as a signature file. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is get this signature file over onto, now I'm gonna be showing a iPhone today. You can also do this on the Android, but I don't have an Android device, so I'm gonna show you on an iPhone how to pull this information over. So the first thing uh, that we're going to do is we're going to uh, save this document and then we're going to email it or text it over to get it over to our iPhone. And then when we get it in our iPhone, we're going to open it up. If you have uh, Microsoft Word on your iPhone, then you can open it up. I'm going to use Pages and I'll open it up in Pages. So there we go. We've got that all set up and I'm not going to save it, but you get the idea. And I've already uploaded this onto my iPhone and we're going to show you how to pull that off on your iPhone. So let's now go over to the iPhone. There we are. So right here, here I am uh, opened this document up that you see right here. Let me grab my pointer. This document here is Pages. So what it does is it converted my Word document into Pages because Pages is, an, is a native uh, word processor on the iPhone. So I pulled it up that way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to just double tap, grab the corner there, and drag it down. And then I'm going to copy that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press done and I'm gonna swipe up. I'm gonna go over to Outlook. So right here is my Outlook. And now that Outlook is open, uh, we can click on this, my little picture in the top left-hand corner there. So I'll click on that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down to the bottom where there's gear is and we're gonna click on that gear. That's your settings button. And once that pops up, we're gonna click on signature. All right. And the default, what you'll find for the default is that it's gonna say get Outlook for iOS. Uh, we're gonna remove that just by double tapping and uh, just removing that. And then I'm just gonna take my uh, delete button there, delete that out of there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in the signature that I just copied from Pages. Now, uh, that looks good. I'm gonna make the, the thank you a little bit smaller. And now, you'll notice in here under the body, down here, you've got different sizes of text. You can't choose a specific size of text. It's just a couple of different 
choices, which I'll show you. You've got bold, italics, underline, and then you've got some, some bullets there. You don't, you can't change the color. That's why you want to do this in, a, in another uh, document first before you bring it in. You can change your, get your colors the way you want. So I want to just take this, I'm going to tap on body, then you got subheading, title, and then back to body. So it's a little bit smaller. But if I do that with the rest of it, it's, it's going to be kind of messed up. So you want to try to keep it as best you can from the Word document into the into uh, pages and then into here and get it the way you want. But now I want to add in that graphic I was telling you about. And remember, uh, I mentioned that adding the graphic in is going to change. If I have a PNG file, it's going to convert it into a JPEG or a uh, GIF file. And then what's going to happen is um, it's going to have a white background and that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, but if you're going to be emailing you know, to somebody who's opening it up with a white background, it's not going to be a problem. It's just if they're going to have a dark background, kind of like the dark background I have here, it's going to show up white. So now I'm going to press this little button right here. This is to get our graphic. I'm going to tap that, tap the logo, bring the logo in. Uh, the logo is a little bit too big, so I'm going to tap on that, and you'll see where it says resize right here. Tap on resize, and then it puts a little node down at the bottom right-hand corner, I'll just click on that and then drag it in. And this can be a little finicky. There we are. Close enough. And then once I've done that, I just click on the checkbox up on the top or the little check on the top right hand corner. And that uh, saves it. And you can see it there. Uh, this looks really good, uh, except that this has got a white background. And that's only going to be for those who have a dark background on their uh, uh, as a selection on their their email. For those of those who don't, it's going to show up just right, just perfect. So now what I want to do, and I'm just going to double check, that's all good. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to press the backspace here. I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to uh, exit out over here, up on the top left-hand corner, right there. X out of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new email and just test to see what it looks like. So I'm going to tap that. And there's my signature, ready to go. And that's really all there is to it, to add a signature to your, uh, to your iPhone into uh, Microsoft Outlook on your mobile device. Um, just remember, it's not going to be 100% uh, like your uh, signature on your, um, your desktop, especially if you've got... Um, different styles like uh, like framing and maybe uh, kind of a table structure there. Uh, it may not come out exactly the same. So you may have to morph and have a signature that's specific for your mobile versus the one on your desktop. But you can get pretty darn close if you mess around with it. Hopefully this helps. Have yourself a great day. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.